welcome. My name is Larry Payne, and like a lot of you watching this video right now, I know what it's like to have back problems and too much stress. The biggest obstacle between you and this program is simply taking the time from your busy day to do it. So I've made it easy for you. All of my routines are about 15 minutes long. You can do them any time of the day or night. You don't even have to change your clothes. I think the best way to use this video is to watch it all the way through the first time and then fast forward to the part that fits your needs. Do the exercises slowly. Use the breathing techniques and if any exercise causes pain, then just leave it out. This routine is for the upper back. It can be done either standing or sitting and it works especially well at the office on days when you're having neck and shoulder tension. I'm also going to talk a little bit first about the posture, so I've asked Lisa to help me out. Let's take a look at Lisa's sitting posture. First of all, you want to make sure that your feet are on the floor. And if your feet are dangling, you can usually find a phone book to put your feet on top of. And then bring yourself away from the back of the chair and make sure you have an alignment between the ear, the shoulder, and the hip. And now, just as an exercise, let yourself slump forward and see what that feels like. And now bring your hands to your hips and arch your body, exaggerate, and see what that feels like. Now bring yourself right in the middle again to this nice sitting posture, hands on the thighs, ear, shoulder, hip in alignment. And now we're ready to begin. The first exercise is going to be breathing to help get you focused and centered. It's called the whole body breath. Try to breathe through the nose, both inhale and exhale if you can. Here we go. As you inhale, feel the whole body expand. And as you exhale, let the whole body release. Try and shut your eyes now. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. And continue. Let this time be your time to focus in have a little pause, almost like a meditation. And right about eight times, and we move on to the next phase. Keep that same sitting posture, bring your arms down to your sides, We'll do the three-way arm lift. As you inhale, take the right arm up. And as you exhale, take the arm down. Good. Left arm, inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. Both arms, inhaling and exhaling. And continue. Right arm down, left arm, and down. Let the breath surround the movement all the way up, slight pause. Exhale all the way down, slight pause. Last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Both arms, inhale, all the way down. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next exercise called the shoulder shrug. Let your arms hang once again. We'll be bringing the shoulders up, back, and down. Here we go, inhale up, way back, exhale down and through. Inhaling up, way back, down and through. We're gonna go for about eight times. Leaving the tension in the neck and shoulders. Be careful not to speed up. Just stay at the same slow pace. Make sure you use the breathing. Move and breathe. Breathe and move. All right. Good. 
Okay, we're going to take it to the next level by bringing the hands to the shoulders and the elbows forward. We're going to be moving the elbows up, back, and down, also using the breath. Here we go. Inhaling up, way back, down, and through. Inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, way up, way back, and way down. Inhale and exhale. Concentrate. Breath around the movement. Movement around the breath. Last time. Good. Now bring your hands to your thighs with the palms up. This one is called mirror in hand, and it works some of the largest muscles in the neck. Looking at your right hand, as you inhale, take the hand up to eye level, and as you exhale, bring it to the opposite shoulder, let the head turn down. Inhale around, watching the hand, and as you exhale, bring it back and down. Let's try the other side. Inhale, watch the hand, exhale across. Inhale around, exhale back and down, good, right hand, inhale, exhale, inhale around, exhale back and down, left hand, a whole team is working, inhale, exhale across, neck, shoulders, arms, inhale around, exhale back and down right hand resist the temptation to speed up exhale across all the way around exhale back and down inhale exhale inhale and down right side it's like tai chi moving slow breathing all the way back. Last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. All right, now we're going to move on to an exercise called the newspaper. Just bring your hands in front of you like you're looking at a newspaper and simply follow me. As you inhale, take the arms up, let the eyes follow, don't bring your head back too far. Exhale, just the chin comes down. Good. Inhale, take the elbows back, pull the chest forward. And as you exhale, round the back, arms alongside of the ears. Inhale, looking at the hands. Exhale, chin down. Let's try another one. Inhale up. Exhale, chin down. Inhale, elbows back. Exhale, round and hump the back. Good. Inhale, looking at the hands. Exhale, chin down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last round. Inhaling up, feel the stretch, exhale, chin down. Open the chest, inhaling, round the back, exhaling. Inhale, looking at the hands, exhale, chin down, and we're finished. Now we're ready for self-massage. From a nice, comfortable sitting position, Bring your right hand over to the opposite shoulder and reach across. Now simply begin to grab and search for tight spots about seven times. And when you found the tightest spot, press down with your fingers firmly and slowly drag the hand forward. And now rub it out, bringing circulation into the area about seven times again. And then bring the hand down. 
All right, let's try it on the other side. Take your left hand across to the opposite shoulder, all the way across, and begin to grab and search for tight spots. I'll bet you know where they are. Grabbing firmly, and when you find the tight area, press down with your fingers, and slowly begin to drag the fingers across, easy. And now simply rub it out. About seven times, bringing circulation into this side. And now release, bring the arms down. Okay, we're ready for our final exercise, coming back to the whole body breath. Once again, check out your posture, feet, hips, shoulder, head. And now we're going to do the whole body breath, but we're going to make the exhale longer for a deeper relaxing effect. Please shut your eyes. As you inhale, feel the whole body expand. As you exhale, let it release and make the exhale longer. Good. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Inhale, expand, exhale, release, and continue. And our goal is to make the exhale twice as long as the inhale. The exhalation phase of your breath is the relaxation phase. Normal inhale, Double exhale. Normal inhale. Double exhale. Couple more breaths. Last time. All the way back. Open the eyes slowly, and we're finished. Hello, this is level one for the lower back. I call it the recovery phase. Lots of breathing, lots of relaxing. It's more of a work in than a work out. And you can stay at level one for as long as you like. Before we begin, I'd like to talk a little bit about breathing, as it's such an important part of our program. The masters from the East recommend that you breathe through the nose, both inhale and exhale. But of course, if you're having some obstructions, you can just breathe through the mouth. And sometimes a good old-fashioned sigh feels good. Let's begin with a classic breathing technique called belly breathing. Here we go. Please lie on your back with your knees bent, feet on the ground. Place the right hand on the upper chest left hand on the belly. Imagine a large balloon inside the belly, and as you inhale, expand the balloon, and as you exhale, release. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Let this be a transition from wherever you've been into where you're going, inside quiet, slow. And now finishing one more round, remembering this belly breathing, come back to the moment. This next exercise is a spinal stretcher. Begin lying on your back, with your knees bent, let your left leg all the way down. On the inhalation phase, take your arms overhead, and on the exhalation phase, bring your arms back to your sides. Then about halfway through, we'll switch the feet. Please remember the belly breathing for the rest of this routine. As you inhale, bring your arms overhead, feel the stretch, and as you exhale, bring your arms back, slow and easy. 
Inhale, arms overhead, belly breathing. Exhale, return. Let the breath surround the movement, inhaling all the way back. Slight pause, exhaling all the way down. Inhale, last one to this side. Exhale back. Please switch the feet. Left leg bent, right leg straight. Here we go. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, arms back. Continue. This exercise allows you to stretch one side of the back more than the other. It brings balance to each side of the body, right side and left side. A very gentle back bend and a nice moving flow. Last one, inhale. Okay, now we're ready for the next phase, which is the pelvic tilt. Now you see pelvic tilt in a lot of back routines. This pelvic tilt, I'm going to recommend that you don't tighten your buttocks. We're going to start moving slowly, exhaling as you tilt. And then after some time, when your back's feeling better, we'll start to lift the back higher off the ground a little at a time. Give it a try. First inhale. And as you exhale, tilt the pelvis, pubic bone toward the chin. Top of the hips stay on the ground. Inhale. Exhale and tilt. Inhale. And exhale. And continue. When you're ready, Begin to tilt the pelvis and lift the hips off the ground a little at a time, then returning. Watch the box in the corner of the screen, lifting higher until you reach the point where you can go as high as possible. Don't be in a hurry about this. Just go depending on how you're feeling by the day. Tilting, lifting, using the breath. And now just one more time, and we're finished. All right, now we're ready to work on the belly, a very important place. We're gonna start off with what we call the lower abs, and what we're gonna do is we're going to first inhale, and as you exhale, we're gonna press the low back into the ground as you're exhaling for about five seconds, and then we'll just continue. Ready? Let's begin. First inhale, and as you exhale, press the lower back into the ground firmly. Don't force anything. Good. Release, inhale, and as you exhale, press down. One, two, three, four, five. Releasing, inhale, and exhale. Press firmly into the rug. Feel the abdominal muscles working. Release, inhale. Exhale, press down. Be sure and let the air out as you're pressing down. Inhale. Exhale, push. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Last one coming up. Pressing down. All right, now we take our first rest. Just a few breaths will do it. Again, lie back, use the belly breathing. A few breaths. Bring the right hand to the chest, left hand on the belly. Inhale, belly expands. Exhale, belly releases. Just a few rounds. Now we're ready for our second abdominal exercise, a form of a sit-up. Now there are lots of sit-ups. This sit-up is a synthesis of the east and the west. 
I call it the sit-up of the 90s. Turn the toes in and let your knees push. This makes a post which makes it easier for you to sit up. Also, we'll be pressing against the knees, making an isometric contraction, strengthening the insides of your legs, called the adductors. Bring your hands behind your head. Now, I like the hands crisscross on the opposite shoulders, but you can have your hands behind the head or across your belly, as long as you don't yank your neck when you sit up. Let your head just come along for the ride. All right, so we're going to push the knees, tilt the pelvis, and as I exhale, I'm coming halfway up, keeping my eyes on the ceiling. Here we go. First inhale, and as you exhale, press the knees, tilt the pelvis, curl halfway up. Inhale, coming back, and then push, tilt, and curl, coming up. Inhale, as you exhale, push, tilt, and curl. It becomes a flow. Pushing, tilting, curling. Keep your eyes on the ceiling. And as you continue, remember to come up just halfway, about 40 degrees. I'd like you to challenge yourself, but not get into any kind of negative pain. As you improve, try to get into the neighborhood of 15 to 20 times when you're ready. Good. The next exercise is for the hamstrings, another important place. Bring your arms to your sides, keep one leg bent, and let the other leg go all the way down. Bring your hands to your side and extend all the way down with the left leg. First inhale, and as you exhale, bring the long leg up. Inhale, take it down, and as you exhale, take it up, slow and easy. Inhaling and exhaling. Body folds, air comes out. Body opens, air comes in. Exhale, inhale, breathe through the nose, and now we switch to the right side. Bring the right leg all the way down, left leg is up, toes back towards you, first inhale and as you exhale take the leg up, inhale take it down, exhale take it up. Notice the difference between the two sides. This exercise helps to bring you into balance. Last one coming up. And release. All right. Now we're ready for a twist. Let's bring your knees into the chest. If that feels uncomfortable, you can bring your feet back out on the ground. We'll move sideways. You keep your feet on the ground. We'll keep our knees into the chest. It's your choice. Here we go. Bring your arms out to the sides, palms down. First inhale, and as you exhale, drop the knees to the right, head goes left. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, dropping to the opposite side, head goes right. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, both legs right, head goes left. 
inhale, exhale, and continue. Notice the difference between the right side and the left side. Inhaling, exhaling. Try to keep your shoulders on the ground as the knees go as far as you feel comfortable. And now last time, dropping over on the right, all the way up, last time on the left, all the way up, and we're finished. Good. Now we're going to bounce this out with a little bit of knee to chest. Just bring both of your legs toward the chest, one hand on each knee. First inhale, and as you exhale, just bring the knees into the chest. As you inhale, the knees go away, and as you exhale, the knees go back in. It's like a gentle massage to the lower back. Exhale, body folds. Inhale, body opens. Slow and easy. Now we're ready for a final exercise, another round of the belly breathing with a long exhale. Lying on your back with the knees bent, feet on the ground. Right hand to the upper chest, left hand on the belly. As you inhale, the belly expands. As you exhale, the belly releases. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Try not to move the hand on the upper chest. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. As you continue, let the exhalation phase be longer than the inhalation phase. Breathe through the nose, both inhale and exhale. If your mind drifts away, bring it back. Belly breathing. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. Inhale, expand. Exhale, release. sound of my voice, come back to the moment, back to the normal resting breath. This is level two for the lower back. I call it the preventive stage. We'll be using the chair in the beginning and the end of the routine and the whole body breath. Let's start with a nice posture check. Begin with the feet parallel at hip width. Feel a nice lift from the bottom of your feet all the way up to the top of your head. And now visualize a plumb line from the ear, the shoulder, the hip, the knee, and the ankle. Now we're ready for our first exercise called the standing fold. It's really nice for warming up the muscles of the spine and the joints. Let's begin in a nice standing posture, the feet at hip width. As you inhale, the arms come up. And as you exhale, bend the knees and fold down. 
Bring your arms up like wings from the sides, all the way up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale out and up. Exhaling down. Inhale out like wings from the sides. Exhale down. Now, continue from the sides or come up from the front, making a little more work in the back. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhaling out and up. Nice arch. Exhale down. Continue and feel the work in your lower back, upper back, shoulders. Also in the legs, especially the thighs. Inhaling. Exhaling. Last time, all the way up. And arms down at your sides. All right, let's go right into the sit-ups. This is another modern day sit-up actually called a sit back. The back is rounded in a C curve, the chin is down, knees are bent, feet on the ground. We're going to inhale as we move back and exhale as we move forward. Here we go. Dragging the hands, inhale back, exhale forward. Inhaling, exhaling. Go back as far as you comfortably can, and then exhale forward. Challenge yourself, but don't hurt yourself. If this isn't right for you, use sit-up of the 90s from level one. This is especially good for people who want to strengthen the belly without pulling hard on the neck. Right, we're going to make it a little more interesting and take it to a higher level. Bring the arms up like you're holding a large ball. We'll do the same thing. We'll let physics make it a little more difficult. Inhale back. Exhale four. Inhale. Exhale. Please keep the back rounded. Chin down. Find the distance that feels right to you. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathe through the nose. Concentrate. Last one. And we're done. Okay, now we're going to take what is called a counter pose, lying on the back. We're simply going to lift the hips up toward the ceiling. As you inhale, lift the hips as high as you feel comfortable, and as you exhale, come down. Lifting, inhale, returning on the exhale. Just a few times, what we call a counter pose. Last time, inhale, exhale. Now we're ready for our second sit-up we call the crisscross. It'll work the oblique or side muscles of the abdomen. We're doing two exercises for the abdomen because it's such an important place. Think of it as the front of your back. Bring the hands behind your head. First inhale. And as you exhale, bring the right elbow towards the left knee. Inhale. Left elbow towards the right knee. Inhale. Exhale all four down the middle. You don't have to touch. And now continue. Right elbow, left knee. Left elbow, right knee. 
exhaling down the middle. And now as you progress, you can bring your feet off the ground, cross them at the ankles, and make it a little more difficult. You pick the level that feels right to you. Remembering the breathing, inhale, body opens, exhale, body folds. Inhale and exhale. Last round coming up, last on the right, last on the left, down the middle. This next exercise is a series for the hips and the hamstrings. Make sure that your hands are down from the shoulders, your knees are down from the hips, and follow me. Begin with an inhale, and as you exhale, just sit back, elbows come down. Inhaling up, exhale, sitting back, good. Inhale and exhale, warming up the hips and the back. Last time, and sit back. All right, here we go. Press the toes down, push all the way back for the hamstrings. Inhale, come down, lift through. Exhale, push back again. So longer breath, exhale, and inhale. Down to the knees, lifting up. Exhale, pushing back and stretching through, oh yes. Inhale, and exhale. This pose isn't right for you. Watch the box in the corner of the screen. Either bend your knees, or come up on your toes. Come down, inhaling, lifting through. Exhale, sitting back. A little counter posing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Should feel real nice on the hips and the back. Last time, exhale. Now we're ready to begin our back bend exercises, starting with the Brower and Balancing Technique. Both hands down from the shoulders, knees down from the hips. Let's begin to extend the left hand forward and the right leg back. And now slowly bring them both up. Only come as high as you feel comfortable. Take it down. And now on the other side, extending out first, waiting, and then taking it up as high as you feel comfortable. Try to keep your hips even if you can, balancing, concentrate, keep the breath flowing, and now down. Let's take another round on both sides, left hand out, right leg back, coming up slow. When the body wobbles, the muscles that are coming to the rescue are the ones we're working on. Good. And take it down. Let's try it on the other side. Lifting up. Try to keep the hand and the foot about the same height. Good. Keep the breath flowing and take it down. Last time, sitting back, relaxing the back. Just stay and breathe. Bring your hands to your sides. for 
second back extension, mind in the prone position. Let's just lie back and rock your hips from side to side. Rocking your hips should feel good and help to prepare you for the next phase. Enjoy it. All right, we're going to begin to bring the back up. If you have any problems with this exercise, just stop. Elbows are going to be on the ground, hands forward. We'll also be bending one leg at a time as we're lifting the chest. Here we go. As you inhale, lift your chest and the right leg. As you exhale, come down. Inhale, chest and left leg. Exhale, down. Chest and both legs, elbows on the ground. Exhale, down. And now continue, depending on the condition of your back. Take a look at the corner of the screen and use one of the variations as you begin to improve your back extensions. You can use the full cobra, hands close to the shoulders, lifting up, or you can bring your hands to your sides, lifting your chest and a whole leg. Everyone's back is different. I'd like you to challenge yourself but not have any feelings of negative pain. Use the breath. This time, we're going to lift the hips and the arms at the same time. Start with your knees bent, feet on the ground, hands at your sides. Inhale, lifting the hips and the arms. Exhale, come down. Inhale, only go as high as you feel comfortable. Exhale, come down. Should feel good. A nice stretch all the way up. And all the way down. A couple more. Inhaling. Exhaling. Body opens. The air comes in. Body folds, air comes out. Last time. Inhale and exhale. Let's go right into a twist. Put your left leg all the way down. Bend your right knee and place the right foot just above the left knee on the thigh. Take your left hand over to the right knee. Bring your right hand out to the side. First inhale, and as you exhale, take the knee over. Head goes in the opposite direction. And now inhale, take the knee up. Exhale, take it over and down. Inhale, and exhale. And now stay. Stay and breathe. First priorities are that both shoulders are on the ground. Then we begin to work on the knee coming down. A little nice adjustment in the lower back. A nice stretch throughout the whole spine. Good. Release. Let's try the other side. Switching the feet. First inhale, and as you exhale, take it over. Left leg goes to the right, head goes left. Inhale, exhale over. Inhaling, and exhale. Again, notice the difference between the two sides as you begin to hold the pose. Moving and then holding helps prepare the body for the stretch. Shoulders on the ground, bring your knee closer and closer, let the breath be free, and we're finished. Okay, let's balance that out by bringing one knee into the chest, let the other leg all the way down, then 
now take the right hand on the right knee and bring it toward the shoulder. Left hand on the right foot and bring it toward the groin. And just pull in at a nice angle. And on the count of three, a nice sigh. One, two, three. Ha. <sighs> Okay, let's switch it and try the other side. Take the heel toward the groin and the knee toward the shoulder. Challenge yourself, but don't get into any negative pain. Feel the stretch and now release it. And now for our final relaxation, find that chair once again We'll put our feet up on the chair and really get into a deep relaxation. This technique is called the body-mind technique. Lying back with your feet on a chair, very comfortable. Begin by crossing your arms across your chest. Hug yourself and then just bring your elbows to the ground. Let the palms float up there. Shut your eyes and go inside. Be aware of the balance between the right foot and the left foot, the right hip and the left hip, right shoulder and left shoulder. Be aware of the balance between the right side of the room and the left side of the room space above you and the space below you. And now narrow your focus down to the middle of your forehead, just above the eyes. And mentally, as you inhale, take the focus down to the navel. And as you exhale, back to the point between the eyes. Inhale down, exhale back. Let the breath be free, and for just a little while, nothing else matters. Point between the eye, navel, and the breath. mind drifts away, bring it back, point between the eyes, navel, and the breath. Thank you. 